Get ready for the Squawking Eagles podcast. Game's about to start. We uh, we will not see A.J. Brown. We will see, hopefully, Devontae Smith step up, Johan Dotson step up, and, of course, Saquon doing Saquon things. Can the defense make a couple stops so the Eagles offense can put up some points and put this game out of reach? We will see. Welcome to Monday Night Football, ladies and gentlemen. The Eagles take their first opening drive and go three and out. Disappointment already from the get-go. Hopefully adjustments are made. The Eagles get things in gear. That series had Jalen running two plays by himself. And the last play with him had a open covey but he decided to run on his own can he not change the play at the line does he have to go with the play that's called in is that what's happening here well this eagles offense has been inept as of yet first quarter it's about to come to an end and the only thing we've been able to do is run the ball with barkley and that's about it Adjustments need to be made immediately. Jalen put that team on his back with the first down runs with 11, third and 11, fourth down and four. He marched them down. That was all Jalen Hurts. Let's go, Birds. Eagles are managed to go down the field on a bunch of Jalen Hurts runs and Punch it into the end zone with a dart of a pass to Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Eagles. Eagles up 7-3. to But on the flip side of that, the Eagles have managed to let Atlanta drive to midfield in the next possession after getting them deep into their own side of the field. Defense needs to step up. Pass rushing is not there. Well, we have reached tap time, and the Eagles are still up 7-3. to three. You know, um, we thought that, you know, being on home turf, our defense would look better. Clearly, um, Bryce Huff can't even get off the tackle. He is going against, um, he's having difficulties reaching the quarterback. Um, he obviously doesn't have the speed or the power to get off the block. Um, so it kind of makes me feel like the Eagles wasted money trying to bring him in. On the other hand, we've had Barkley, who has been majority of our offense to hold the whole game so far. Uh, ball has pretty much moved on his legs or Jalen Hurts' legs with a couple passes here to Devontae Smith and, and, uh, the tight end Gal Cater. I just hope that they are going into this locker room talking about how they're going to stop the run coming out in the second half and how they can move the ball way better in this second half because this team looks incapable of moving the ball unless it's in the arms of Saquon Barkley. I haven't made any conversation at all for this tonight. Um, So far, defensive game. I'm okay with going for it on the fourth down. I know we didn't get it the first time. Jalen Hurts looked good with the runs towards the end. Did not look good running the ball early. Saquon looked great. We need to run him the ball a little more. Get Devontae the ball a little bit. Defense was good up until that second part. Excuse me. Second quarter. Um, Bijan started getting some runs on us. I said before I'm saying again, run the ball. Run the league. Bijan is a nightmare. I tried saying that. All our fans were arguing that Saquon's better. Saquon's better. Well, guess what, boys? Saquon's great. Bijan's still amazing, too. you got to compensate. We need to keep up. Contain him, because right now they have the ball. So let's go, Birds. Get a strong second half. Win this game. Let's go. Clearly starting this third quarter, the Vikings started off with the ball and have just ran the ball down the field and currently in the red zone. This Eagles defense cannot stop the run today. Howie Roseman needs to start making some moves for some pass rushers and some run stoppers because this is, we can't have this 
this whole season. Bijan has 100 yards in the third quarter. Ridiculous. Eagles managed to get down the field, but stall out once again in the red zone, put up three points. It is 10 to 9 with a little over six minutes left in the third quarter. Well, the Falcons go right back down the field, seven plays, 70 yards, and three minutes. They let a pass go right over the middle. C.J. Gardner Johnson was unable to tackle. And Looney was able to get into the end zone four to six points. This team needs, needs practice tackling, clearly. Well, the defense finally let up a touchdown. The Falcons lead 15-10. Um, I'm excited to see what the Eagles' offense is going to do now that they are down for the first time tonight. Um, next week against New Orleans is going to be something. If this, if they play like this next week, I, I can see a, a blowout by the Saints, just like they did to the Cowboys. All right, third quarter was a little rough. Uh, letting up the touchdown, uh, more penalties on us. It looks like they're definitely calling the an eligible man downfield a lot more often than they used to um, across the board, but a lot for us tonight. But either way, um, I think we've got to you know get a little bit going here. We got to keep the offensive line behind, make them good plays, a little more run on Saquon, have them bite the box a little bit more, and find Smitty over the top. We gotta get this dub, boys. Let's go, birds. I need to make a quick comment. Jalen Hurts on that run, a little designed run play at the end. You see that energy, that passion, that celebration of getting that first, that great run. That's the energy that I want to see him bring to the team with every play when he has a chance. That's what makes him a good leader, that excitement, that drive. I don't need your, I'm going to stand there no matter how good or bad we do. I want to see the passion. I love it. Let's go, Birds. Well. The Jalen Hurts puts the team on his back, and the Eagles drive down the field, tush push into the end zone for the touchdown and a two point conversion by Saquon Barkley, who sneaks his hand over the goal line just in time to take a three point lead. No, it's a lot of a lot of players that haven't been used today. We haven't heard Dallas, Dallas Goddard's name. We haven't heard uh, Dotson, other than a couple penalties that were around his area. This defense has a lot of weapons to have a low-scoring game like this. Eagles defense with a big stop on the fourth and one. CJ, GJ's helmet comes off. They try to do a penalty on it, but ultimately it ruled it wasn't a – he didn't take it off on purpose. But when you look at the replay, it kind of does look like he took it off on purpose. Well, the Eagles' last offensive possession – Ended in the field goal. Left less than a minute left, or a little over a minute left for the Falcons. They were able to drive down the field and push the ball into the end zone. Drake London was able to catch it wide open because Slay was not there to cover. Oh, that was a painful sequence of events that led to the collapse of our our birds there. If Saquon catches it, maybe a better play call, something that gets us that first. You know, we end the game. That's it. I mean, they even, we let them somehow drive down the field like they had an all night in record time. They gave us the ball back with time to come back and win it. And of course, you know, we just have to get throw a pick and it not going our way. But, you know, as much as it sucks, fly goes fly. We lost by, you know, last minute touchdown. We didn't get our asses blown out at home like some other terrible teams. We got to muck up, get ready for next week. Let's go, Birds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Eagles are now officially one and one. Saquon drops a huge conversion on fourth and three, which all he had to do was catch the ball, but he didn't. And now the Eagles go into these next couple of games against, let's see, 
the New Orleans Saints who just blew out the Cowboys and against a 2 and 0 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If we continue to play like this, we are in major trouble. I'm uh, stunned that the Eagles lost that game. And I, I, I'm going to have to put that on uh, Nick Sirianni, not kicking that field goal at the beginning of the game, going for it and not making it. That's three points right there. Uh, I would say, you know, if, the, if, if Saquon drops that, catches that pass, the game's over. So that was, that's on Saquon too. Like it's uh, – that's a tough. This is a tough one to swallow. No defensive pressure. Uh, on, on letting Kirk Cousins just pick him apart. We got a lot to talk about. I have not heard anything uh, the other guys have said. Um, I'm strictly just going off about my experience of this game. Later on, I'll go back. And uh, later in the week, we'll, when we're recording, I'll review what those what those gentlemen had to say about today's game. But overall, highly disappointed in our pass attack. Uh, I have no faith in Josh Huff. Um, I also have no faith in Jahan Dotson. And where the hell was Dallas Goddard besides that one catch? Uh, this... This offense can't be centered around A.J. Brown being on the field consistently. There's got to be a, a change in direction with that. And I don't know what Kellen Moore's uh, plans for adjustment are, but it's going to be interesting to see what what's... What Philadelphia Eagles are a fucking joke. Holy shit. The Eagles were two minutes from beating the Atlanta ass, and then it all went tits up like Diddy and R. Kelly's prison bunk bed. Saquon Barkley put his hands in a bucket of butter before the biggest play of the game. Speaking of butter, with two minutes left, the Eagles let Captain Kirk cut through their bullshit prevent defense like a hot knife through butter to take the lead. And to top it all off like a Jamal Murray IG story, Russell Westbrook threw a fucking duckling into the hands of the Falcons. We all know that if this was the Chiefs, the refs would have a about 67 flags out for roughing the passer, but that's just how the bullshit goes. Don't even get me fucking started on the fallacy that is prevent defense. It's a fake. If it's a fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's never landed. It is no matter. It's not on the elemental chart. It it's not fucking real. The Falcons really only had a 2% chance to win this game.